Hi, I'm Crows with Comics Online, and I'm here with Dule Hill from Psych. How you doing? I'm doing pretty good. How you doing? Pretty good. Now, Gus has always been sort of the uh, sidekick to Sean's uh, craziness. Is there any way this season we're going to start to see uh, Gus kind of uh, come more into the front of the picture? Because we started seeing that a bit last season. I mean, I think the character will always continue to grow in. The dynamics change episode to episode. So some episodes you'll see more of Gus, some episodes you won't. But the show is always about Sean and Gus together and how they, how they interact and play off of each other. So one has to be the more dominant <laughs> who, who gets people into the situations, and that's kind of the flavor of the show. Do you see Gus as uh, gaining more of a backbone as the show goes on? Because at first it started like he was sort of uh, telling Sean not to do stuff, and he would just give in to Sean with whatever he did. But yeah. now as the show goes on. Yeah, I think as the show goes on and, and Gus starts to realize more and more that this is a business, you know, psych is a business, that he started to stand up more because Gus doesn't play around with his business. You know, you can't mess around with his pharmaceutical job and you can't mess around with his business. Don't play with Gus's money. <laughs> Don't mess around with his bread and butter, man. You see what I'm saying? So, yeah, I mean, as the seasons go on, he does start to get more and more of a backbone, definitely. I would agree with that. Now, a constant thing that has been appearing every season is Gus's family. We've been seeing them. Are we going to see them again this season? I don't know if we're going to see uh, my family this season. You, you, well, you may see a, a, a piece of my family possibly in one episode that, that Rodea is writing. But uh, I don't know if we're going to see the whole all the Gusters get together this year. Now, uh, James has directed an episode. Uh, at, are you going to be directing an episode at any time? I don't think so. I don't, I don't really have a passion for it. I mean, I've, I've said that maybe if the show went... Like a seventh or eighth, I mean, say, I, don't even know, I don't even know about a seventh season, maybe an eighth season. Then maybe I would say, okay, since I'm here, I might as well, but I don't have the passion for it. And I think you should only do stuff where you really have a passion to do it. So, no, I don't see me directing anytime soon. Now, what is the one thing you most want to see Gus do on site? Because the characters, Sean and Gus, get themselves into crazy situations. What is the one thing you think, uh, Gus? Well, it's two, well it's two things. One, which you just did, was having Gus tap dance, and that happened. You know, so I'm glad my man Jason Samuels came out to dance with us, dance with us on the show. And I guess it would be to, uh, you know, I would say get laid. <laughs> you know, I would like to see Gus get laid. Like you, like you clearly know he just got laid. It's not, it's not something you kind of put two and two together. It's like, no, they just got laid. You know? Instead of Sean being cock-blocking him into every time. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Just one time. I mean, he can get laid and then, you know, the relationship can end. But I want it to be that, wow, Gus just got laid. You know, they start making out, lights go down, or lights come up, and they're just like, oh, oh wow, okay. <laughs> It'll probably never happen, but that's what I would like. All right, thank you very so much. All right, all the best, bro. Yep. Um